to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There is also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Narodnaya Volya literature. For instance, the fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course, they wouldn't appreciate for instance, the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of these adult-pated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius wit unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools, how I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo, and no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only. And even they have to demonstrate that they win within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower beforehand. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs>